most northern point of Germany, you will find the idyllic island of Sylt. But once a year, this calm has a one-week break because you will find ten times more visitors than residents. The reason is the great final of the PWA Tour, which brings the best surfers in the world and more than 200,000 spectators to the beach of Westerland. 121 riders will fight in three disciplines, not just for the last points for the World Cup ranking, but also for 120,000 euros prize money. The first surfers to hit the freezing cold North Sea waters are the slalom riders. And surf legend Bjorn Dunkebeck is very close to grabbing his 42nd World Championship title. But in the final, his mast breaks like a toothpick. A mast in the test is supposed to hold up to from 7 to 800 kilos when you press both ends. So the mast is tested to hold a lot of load. Obviously, when the conditions are as rough as here with lots of waves and lots of chop, um, they can't break. Unfortunately, Dunkebeck's closest rival, the Frenchman Antoine Albo, wins not just the slalom race, but also snatches away the world title from Dunkebeck. The next guys to be tested in these mean conditions are the freestyle riders. With amazing tricks and uncountable turns, the surfers try to impress the judges, but there is one guy who dominates the freestyle competition like no one has before. Jose Golito Estrero from Venezuela won every single contest in 2012 and adds Suk to that impressive list, which secures him his fifth world title. I feel really good, you know. This year is, I think, it's my best year in the whole, uh, you know, in the whole time I compete in the PWA. And yeah, this year I didn't lose a hit, and for me it's uh, unbelievable, you know. Here we go with the shooting star and local hero Philip Costa, who defended his world title one contest before in Klitmüller. Yeah, yes, yeah, so I'm already world champion, but I'm nevertheless motivated to do my best. When I participate in a competition, I always want to win, so I give it my all from the first heat. Of course he does, but there are still some guys who at least try to steal the last title of the season from the 18-year-old. Yeah. With more or less success. In the end, it was just Alex Mussolini, the world champion from 2009, who made it to face Costa in the final. In the beginning of the heat, though, both had some problems to find good waves for their jumps. While Alex is still trying to find a good wave, the world champion shows the best trick of the entire contest and proves that he's got the title for a reason. So in the end, it was no surprise that he also wins the last stop of the 2012 series in front of his home crowd. It's also the first time that Philip Koester will win a PWA trophy in Sylt. It was a really tough win here because the first heats I had some problems to find the best waves. I really had to watch out for the other guys who surfed really well. I always won my heats with just one or two points in front. It was really difficult, but luckily in the end I won. But we are not done yet. The fans who were holding out the longest in the freezing winds were rewarded by the pros with a night session. In almost complete darkness and rough conditions, Brazilian Ricardo Campello won the title for his night vision. 
the 2012 PWA Tour is done and dusted, and we hope you will join us in following the 2013 Tour. 